start swinging. So I'm going to show you how to do some air swings. Of course, you know, nothing, nothing replaces having a kettlebell, but here you can practice the motion of the swing, the movement of the swing, and feel its power right away. You think I'm kidding? I'm going to demonstrate, and then you're going to do it, okay? So, starting with your feet about slightly wider than hip distance apart, all right? So, you're looking forward, you're facing forward, and the, the, the movement of the swing happens right here at the hips. So we're hinging back, see, notice how vertical my shins are? In other words, I'm not squatting down with my knees coming forward. So the swing is not an up and down movement. The swing is a back and forth, like a glider, right? Back and forth. So we're going to practice that. And we do that first by reaching back with our butt, chin's vertical, and we're also going to reach back with our hands in between our legs, pretending we have a kettlebell. So every single time we sit back and hinge, we're also going to reach back. Now as we stand up, I'm going to bring my arms out in front of me, only because I don't have a bell. If I had a bell in my hand, the bell would bring my arms out, okay? So, but without a bell, we have to actually bring our arms out in front of us. So when we hinge back and down again, we can move, push our arms back. As we stand up, we bring our arms forward. As we sit back, we push our hands back. All right, so I'm gonna put it all together for you, okay? So, whew, I'm already out of breath and I only did a couple pretend swings. All right, so we're gonna do 10 of them. So the important thing I want you to remember is the start of the swing happens when we push the bell back behind us, okay? It's like, if you can imagine being a little kid on a swing, what's the first thing you gotta do to get that swing going? You have to back it up. You have to back up that swing. So we back up our swing with our, with our lat muscles using our arms. We back up the bell. We, we hinge back with our hips. And as we stand up, we're gonna squeeze our butt really tight. And we're gonna lift up on our kneecaps. This con contracts our quadricep muscles. And we're going to exhale sharply, or either way, okay? So when you exhale sharply, you automatically contract those abdominal muscles, which is important. So three important parts here, quads, glutes, breath, all right? So I'm going to pretend to swing now. I'm going to start with a pretend bell out in front of me. I'm going to what? What am I going to do? I'm going to back up the swing. I'm going to back up the swing. I'm going to stand up and breathe. Exhale. I'm going to back up the swing. I'm going to stand up and squeeze my glutes. I'm going to back up. Two more. And then I'm going to pretend to put my belt down. Whew. I don't know how many swings that was, but try it. And I think you're going to be surprised at how much work that is. But how much fun it is too! So give some air, give those air swings a, a try, and um, I'll come back with some other really great tip soon.